from where you sit in the minority, but of course, first of all, as, as a Ghanaian, um, what do, how do you take this uh, debt exchange program, which is now supposed to be our, our path to salvation? If we don't get it, it does appear that we are not getting the IMF uh, support that we need. Well, um, Franz, let me repeat at the risk of uh, sounding like a broken record that uh, their cluelessness, their incompetence, their intransigence of this government is not sometimes as frustrating as its level of dishonesty. And that, again, has manifested in even how they have handled this whole debt restructuring, uh, you know, uh, program. Uh, first, there were denials when the writing was clearly on the wall that we needed uh, to go to the IMF and we needed to uh, complement, uh, you know, our actions with a debt uh, restructuring, you know, uh, program before we could even qualify for IMF, an IMF uh, uh, program. Uh, it was denied vehemently, uh, even the, uh, 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 you know, idea of going to the IMF was denied. Uh, later, the president was categorical when he addressed the nation after we uh, eventually uh, went to the IMF in assuring everyone that there was not going to be a haircut. That later had to be explained by the Minister of Information to mean that uh, the president, uh, you know, assurance was only in reference to uh, interest that people were expecting from their investments. Uh, that since has also been proven to be incorrect. And so sometimes uh, you do not even know uh, what to believe uh, and, and, and how to plan uh, when you uh, listen to them. But this discussion can also be had from, uh, in my view, three main perspectives. You can decide to focus on the uh, impact of, of this debt restructuring uh, strategy, which, by the way, your station has done uh, very well in the last couple of days. You can also decide to focus on how we got here. And you can decide to focus on uh, maybe the way forward uh, and, and all other you know, areas related to this uh, three perspectives. And for me, when I look at uh, this debt restructuring uh, program uh, and the dishonest handling of it all this while, and I compare it even to the proposals from the budget, I come to the conclusion that all of this was avoidable, but for the intransigence of this government, for their cluelessness and for their incompetence, we could have avoided all of this. I mean, for example, I look into the budget for 2023 and, uh, you know, if we, especially on the minority side uh, or on the NDC side, wanted to gloat, uh, we would have had a lot of things to beat our chest about. For example, the increase in VAT to about 2.5%. Uh, it's quite, you know, uh, significant and remarkable that a president whose campaign to be president uh, partly was premised on his opposition to the introduction of this, you know, tax handle, uh, all of a sudden finds all his economic solutions in increasing the hardship that he is supposed to have uh, campaigned against. You look at the benchmark values, and something you recall the debates that we had uh, on this, on its introduction, uh, on and off the floor as a minority when it was uh, whimsically announced on a political platform by the vice president. And this is where, again, I agree with uh, uh, my senior doctor, uh, Ata Kennedy, when he says that uh, indeed it will be unfair to hold the finance minister solely responsible for uh, the level of deterioration that we have seen with our uh, economy. Uh, when he, Dr. Baumia, announced this benchmark uh, uh, value you know, reduction, you recall the minority was called names when we indicated that it was reckless and it was going to put our economy at risk. All of a sudden, this 2023 budget that is under consideration uh, is seeking to reintroduce uh, the benchmark values. Have we gone or have we come? What benefits did we even drive as a country uh, in its, you know, uh, 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 revision? 
and we are back to square one. You look at the e levy and that is another point of vindication for the minority and the NDC. I mean, we, together with uh, civil society, uh, 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 advise the government not to go the way that they were seeking to go. They, again, uh, repeatedly told us they had done all the work and they were better advised than we were. And so they uh, were convinced that this was going to be a solution. Today, they have all of a sudden forgotten that as a result of even the reckless decisions that they have taken in the last year, uh, poverty levels have even increased. Unemployment is at an all-time high. And yet, they, they are no longer even proposing a cushion for people who uh, fall within uh, a hundred Ghana you know, threshold that they initially established. If you look at freeze on you know, uh, employment into the public sector, this was a policy uh, uh, of the previous government at the time when the going was very difficult, for which they used as a campaign platform to uh, beat the NDC with. Today, that seemed to be their solution. And then you look at road tools. Again, you recall uh, how we uh, 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 debated this issue on the floor and off the floor with the uh, 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 government in power, how we pointed to, out to them that it was a reckless decision, it was going to harm the economy, and all of that. Today, they are seeking to reintroduce all of that. So you look at the budget, and it is replete with points of vindication for civil society and for the minority NBC uh, especially. And that for the problems that we are faced with and the recognition that this is not a uh, uh, time to beat our chest and, and, and glorify the vindication that lie in this budget. We would simply have uh, uh, said that uh, they should handle their baggage because we told them so and, and, and they did not uh, uh, listen. But once again, uh, yes, we are faced with this, 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 this problem and we still think that um, the approach that is used so far is not comprehensive enough. And it is not even uh, uh, well thought through to, to, to include the views of, of, of all those who matter in this economy. And little wonder you have uh, you know, recognized institutions such as the TUC and others all coming out to speak against uh, this proposed uh, right. uh, program. Mm. If we had better engagement, I'm sure that we would not have had the situation where you will have uh, the opposition that it is already getting, when that opposition in itself is even a threat to the agreement that we are supposed to uh, reach with uh, the IMF. Well, I hopefully, hopefully, as, 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 as the government, hopefully, as as we understand, as reported by the Reuters and as uh, Dr. Thierry Champong uh, mentioned, hopefully by Tuesday we should be getting the staff level agreement, and then we can begin to get to a place where we can have hopes that things will begin to slow down a bit and that things will not get as worse uh, without the IMF.